Hey everybody, it's me, Marisol Alvarado from Simply Creative Artistry. I'm back. Final 11. I'm here and I made it. I couldn't have done it without the support and love from my friends and my family and fans. So, shout out to you guys. I love you. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Helen from La Chat. I would not have been able to proceed with this challenge without her sponsoring me for this challenge. Thank you so much. This is my first time using any kind of sculpting gel, so this was a huge hurdle for me, but I I totally loved it. Uh, that's why I'm here. I'm here for the challenge. And a, another huge shout out to Miss Tammy Alvarado, TNT Alvarado. I love you, girl. Thank you for walking me through and giving me a hands-on Skype lesson over um, sculpting and thank you so much. You just helped me be more secure in this competition. Now onto the challenge. Um, this week's challenge was uh, inspired by Bio Seaweed Gel's new collection, a fall collection full of rich, rich colors. And the theme is In Too Deep. And these colors are just so amazing. They captivated me and it, it just really inspired me. And I could only think of the ocean and the depth of the ocean and the darkness of the ocean and and how the light hits the top and so immediately what came to my mind is sea creatures and a queen mermaid at the bottom in the deep darkness of all of it reaching out into the light and just escaping that depth and so here it is and I hope you guys like it thank you bye here I first prep my nail tip by buffing and removing all shine then using a custom sculpture gel made with glitter and pigment, I carefully swirled all over the nail tip, cured with a top coat, and then added small details with gel paint. Then I began to create my sea creatures, paying close attention to detail, using lifelike pictures as reference. Here I am using another custom made gel to create seaweed. And now I'm using a clear gel to cover a small miniature Barbie mermaid to create a mold. Once cured, I removed carefully with a razor blade. These pieces were very thin. This is her torso. These are her arms. Then, once all the pieces were finished, I carefully secured them to my nail tips with the UV gel. Paying very close attention to the position. Then, using a beautiful blue custom gel, I sculptured onto a jar to create these beautiful ocean waves. Then, cured in the light for two minutes. Carefully removing with a razor blade, and while they're still pliable, putting them in the UV light for additional time. Then using a clear sculpturing gel to put all my pieces together. Carefully positioning my mermaid queen while she is still pliable. Here I used the top of a lid, dipped in crystal clear sculpturing gel, and rotating to create the head and chin, carefully turning back and forth to create the perfect shape, pressing along the rubber tip to release the face. And here we go. I secured her head with sculpturing gel. Using the same technique using a yellow sculpturing gel I created the form for her head and her hair. Once on I secured her with the same yellow sculpturing gel and carefully molded and sculpted her long golden locks. Real shells are used to cover her breasts. And here is the final product. I hope you'd enjoy. Thank you guys for watching.